What's going on everybody? It's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and today it's going to be more fence work. On this video we're going to make this fence that I put up a while back match the new fence that you just saw us put up the other day. So getting everything all tidied up and getting the front of this lawn here. Now that I guess you can actually call it a lawn. Well you can't call it a lawn. You can call it a front yard. Get it where it really pops. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and take down some of the stuff and uh, start taking it apart. And we got Aaron from the Best Family Homestead out here with us today too. to go stick the post hole digger in the ground so he wouldn't lose it but <laughs> more new discoveries on the old bird farm all the time what's so buried under the wisteria i think i might actually have to go grab a shovel for it. okay and look at the other way we're trying to Work here. No blue. Sit blue. Stay blue. Oh, I have a little bit This right there. I guess it's more of that rock wall that we saw down there. Hmm. Yeah, because that's yeah, that's rock. Huh. Let's take let's see how far it goes. There. Okay, I guess it ends. Oh, nope. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Right yep. yep. There it is. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Found it. Bad timing. Yep, there it is. Yep. I'm not sure if it's actually uh Yeah, no, it looks either. Huh. So I think maybe. Well I have that wall used to be there. And there's probably a culvert under that ditch. Yeah. And then it just filled up. Yep. It filled up. So so there's, there's probably there's probably a culvert under under that part over there too. Yeah. And it just uh Is that is it actually a carved rock? That looks like a capstone, yeah. yeah. So like an actual capstone through the wall. Yeah. So that's uh, a little bit fancier than just some yeah. rocks found in the field. That is that is that actual rotten up or cement? No, it doesn't look like maybe I can't tell. Yeah. Down here it looks like rock. But I think it's actual rock. Yeah. Huh. It's rock. So I guess there did this whole ditch used to be that deep and have a wall going all the way down. Yeah. 
That's crazy. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Never know what you'll find. Right? Old bird farm mysteries continue. Look how far down it is, too. This, uh, up I know. I mean, it's just years and years and years of mostly just wisteria yeah. leaves and vines rotting. Yep, exactly. Never plant wisteria. Yeah, right. Unless you're going to take it over to Aaron's house and plant it while he's not looking. Yeah. All right, so I think you guys can kind of tell how we're going to do this same way as we did the other fence there. Um, but we're bringing it out about a foot. So we've added this brace to our very first gate post here. And it'll run down to this braced post and then connect in with our new section of fence down there. So it's going to look good. Right, so we ran a little bit short on the barbed wire for this last section <laughs> and the barbed wire just ran away too so Aaron's going to show us how to mend two pieces of barbed wire together the secure way just a little handier way instead of putting the two pieces together because it's hard to get them tight enough plus having the washer gives you something to get a hold of so now I can take and Because we're going to be stretching, because this is going to be in the path of, you know, we're going to be stretching this 
it's got to be nice and tight and then we'll go back over it this right here hopefully it don't go nowhere there we go it's starting to get chilly down here in Georgia and my old hands just do not work as good once the weather starts cooling down, which is why I like living in South Georgia. But yeah, you, you could do this just wire to wire, but then holding the wire to get these twists as tight is really hard. So putting that washer on there just gives you something for that second set of vice grips uh, to hold so that you can use the uh, other set of vice grips to really get a really tight twist. All right, so now we're gonna go back the other way. And done. Two pieces become one piece. And you got a you got a washer there in the middle, but unless you're really looking for it or you're really picky, you're not really going to notice. So I wonder what the hell they're going on about. So confused. They are very confused. The confusion of game is confused. Uh, measure of paper. Oh, yeah. Measure of paper. Yep, right there. All right guys, so we got the new fence installed over on this section of the yard. It matches the fence we put up the other day, which is really cool. Um, the only thing left to do now is to pull out the old fence. Uh, Kubota. Kubota pull it out, yeah. Yeah, because these are, these are in there, so we can tie a rope right here and put the bucket. Yeah, Kubota will snatch it out. Cool, but this is it. And oh no yeah. oh i wasn't i was well, looking I at the we were saying about barbed wire uh, you said it you said it this when we were building that part if there is barbed wire i will rip my pants yeah dad ah, gummit i didn't knock even on wood yeah i didn't even see it i was looking at the pretty fence but <laughs> <laughs> cut <laughs> edit that out but this fence is a lot tighter than our old fence we do still need to stick in some t-post um about two one in the middle over there and one over here that'll tighten it up the rest of the way remove the old fence there and uh, this front yard's looking a whole lot better than it did uh yeah a week ago two weeks yeah. ago something like that yeah it's uh yeah man it's, it's uh especially getting that other garbage tree down right there yeah uh it opened up the view even more yeah, this is this is killer, dude. Yeah, I'm loving it. Now we can dig, get maybe project 
coming up, try and see how much of this rock wall is in here, get the yeah. ditch fixed and absolutely uh, the rock wall and get us some mulch and yeah this looks a lot better without this other tree here we are leaving the holly tree right there this kind of nice ornamental tree and hopefully now that there's not wisteria and a bunch of junk growing around it it'll fluff back out next year probably do a little minor trimming on it and the only thing that we all need to do other than remove the old fence and pretty all that up is we got to hang up the old bird farmhouse the old bird house and farm sign now some of y'all commented on this on the last video where i showed it where i cleared out the ditch um aaron actually made this sign a long time ago um, so he also does uh, metal work and that sort of thing so yeah, this was a gift and uh, got to get it back up on the fence line. Yep. Yeah, we'll get that. And now and now we can actually probably over in front. Uh, you know what? That one stake right there in the center? Yeah. We could put it on that stake now and it's going to you're going to be able to see a sign people will know what oh, they're yeah. driving by and everything. We should do that now. Yeah, let's do it. Show the, the grind off. Right. Cool. There we go. Look at that. That is definitely a much better place for that. 